everybody, this is not a spring check, and you will not believe it. Okay, it's the beginning of a new year, and so, wait a minute, should we have gone over that fiscal cliff? It might have been better if you asked some of these people that are now getting their paychecks. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Okay. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you believe the press today, the press to say the Republicans are massively divided. No, the Republicans have done something of which the President can't do, Boehner will not do, and under no circumstances will Nancy Pelosi and Reid did. What? They're basically making a coalition with Democrats that want to cut the budget. They want what? To cut Who's that? Oh my and, gosh! Uh, uh, there uh, are Democrats that want to cut the budget. Yeah, there's a... Uh, okay. A lot of them. Uh, uh, Wrangell is running. He, uh, Wrangell is going to run for the Senate, vacant Senate seat of uh, Kerry in, in Massachusetts and expected to win because he said that uh, he said that we've got to do something about getting the budget under control. And he said raising taxes on the wealthy is not going to do it. Mm -hmm. And you know we get, you know, he. He, you know, he basically getting bal he got balanced out of the house, so now he's trying to get back in again and be a player. And he, if he gets in the Senate, he then becomes a senior senator because he was a senior representative. And Obama blames Republicans for higher taxes on 98 percent of the people and demand new taxes on the wealthy. Okay, uh, uh, Lee Obama says, "Oh, uh, Blue Dobbs and all those other pundits that said now he's going to have to back off because he gave him his tax raise." No, he. Uh, it, there's so much bitching about the fact that that 77 percent of the people that are getting paychecks are paying today more than they would have paid if they went off the cliff. If they went off the cliff, none of this stuff would have happened. Is this called buyer's remorse for the fiscal cliff? Oh God, they're really unhappy. I mean, they uh, like I said, uh, it was 57 percent the day they found out that they were going to be paying that their paychecks were going to be less, and it's over 70 percent of the people now that voted for Obama that think they really screwed up. I mean, I love it that one of the people over on Fox that basically, you know, that worships the ground the president walks on, who uh, didn't realize that they were going to get hit by all these taxes. Well, I don't make 400000 so I don't have to worry about it. And then they found out, you know, I have a goddamn man in the White House screwed me. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there nobody is saying anything nice about Obama. And, and uh, that's what I said. If, the, if the, the Democrats in the Senate control whether he stays president or not, no one else. And child support claim rankles a sperm donor to lesbian couple. Now that is like one of the most... Re <laughs> no, but they're now starting to do it. Okay, what happens is the welfare system is broke. The Democrats have to get they're, money. They're trying to get money from wherever they can. They can get it because like the state of California, um, you know, uh, has all these new arcane laws that basically they can, you know, um, if you're not married, it's going to cost you more money than if you are married. But if you are married, to escape the tax for being married, it's going to cost you more money than if you weren't married and paying the taxes. And then also they've got to tax you. Um, if you use medical marijuana, they're going to tax you for using medical marijuana more than it would cost you if you just illegally bought it. What? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a good one for Which basically. basically is going to make you, it changes nothing because they, the, uh, the states are broke and they all have to find revenue. So uh, they're finding it by simply taxing the things that were never taxable before. Mm, child support. Okay, New York newspaper hires armed guards after publishing gun permits. I know, and they're losing ground. I, I, I was listening the other day on Fox, and one of the, one of Greta von Sustain, who actually she's showing signs of um, of Monty Tyler's disease because she can't. How could you do? Well, you don't understand how the process is done. Yes, I understand how the process. Is done. No, you have to do it immediately. No, I understand, lady, how the process is done. Basically. Um, and they're going to change the law in the state of, uh, they're going to change the laws in New York so that you cannot give out that information anymore. And the, and I think the governor has already said he's going to sign it as soon as it's done. And they're, uh, they're, 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 they're using a court system to delay the person's request for relief. I mean, the newspaper's re request for relief so they can give the information out under the Sunshine Laws until... This new laws have been passed correcting a problem in the Sunshine Law. I mean, I loved this last night too, listening to a person. Well, I, I absolutely think it would be wrong, you know, to do this, but 
you have to understand. When any time they say you have to understand, it means you don't understand. We must, uh, I see it's only right for a neighbor to understand if their neighbor has a gun and that gun can be used against you. Mm -hmm. uh, no, they're in there. But they also have named every police officer in the area. They've named retired prosecutors and members of, and representatives. Po I said, what did it was when they started naming politicians who have guns in their homes, and the politicians basically didn't want people to know they had guns in their home because they're they're anti-gun people. Oh, imagine that. Yeah. And Venezuela Chavez still has severe respiratory problems. Well, the guy is he's either dying or dead. They're going, well, we don't have to, we, we can, he won the presidency, so he doesn't have to be sworn in, and I'm acting in his behalf, and he's telling me what to do. He's on life support, folks. He's not telling he's anybody. He's not telling anyone. Actually, the person I would look at is the person that's saying, he's telling me what to do. No, it, it goes, what they actually did, they watched an episode of Banachek which I was in, you know, and um, uh, what happened was George Picard was in, uh, asked to investigate something and they found out that the business was being ran by a guy that nobody had seen in like 10 years and, uh, and then all of a sudden when there was enough pressure on him, uh, he was killed in an accident. The problem was they put him in a deep freezer and when you put in a deep freeze it does something to your blood. It crystallizes it and they, they found out because he simply did the check the insurance companies but it wouldn't do. It found out the guy had been frozen, and to, and to be and to have the blood crystallized as bad as it was, he'd been there for X amount of years. So, and nearly half of 280 New York pets displaced by Sandy left behind. Oh yeah, well, pets are always oh. the left behind because there's no homes. Except we wouldn't leave Monty Bubbles behind, would we? No, but Monty. Would we leave Monty behind? Well, Monty just go up to her own house. Monty has her own house with a servant staff. She really gets miffed because her mommy won't lift her leg when she goes potty. Oh, well, we wouldn't leave Monty behind because we do have a vehicle that will fit Monty also. And she does have her It's kennel. already designed for Monty. Monty's mm -hmm. got a travel camel. Mm -hmm. And the farm bill extension, evidence of lost clout. Well, yeah, because instead of extending, okay, the milk bill that was supposed to have been extended, basically they extended it only until after they vote on the um, extension of of giving Obama all the money in the universe to spend, which means you still look forward to seven dollars a gallon under Obama. Imaginary bicolum conflict page removed from Wikipedia. It didn't bicolum exist. Okay. What in the world is it, that? It, like, who cares? It wasn't. It was not real. What it, is it? It, it was some. Okay, it was an imaginary. Uh, it's it totally imaginary, but people were looking for the imaginary thing. So now they've we've removed the imaginary page from. It didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And scientists say ancient Martian rock was full of water. Uh, probably because at one time Mars was in our orbit. And as Mars, it was meant there was water on the planet. And they, they feel that underneath in caves and stuff on Mars there's probably lots of water. And if that water was released there would be atmosphere in the caves where the, mar where the water was. So you, but Mars is habitable, folks. And rare San Francisco River otter stumps researchers. Yeah, it's not supposed to be around. Uh, it's amazing how many species that are not supposed to be around keep turning up. Ooh, an Obama inauguration store, ten dollars shot glass, and seventy-five hundred dollar medallions. So that's not. But, you know, I mean, the, what's unusual about that? Well, the thing is, is the what's unusual is, is that those things used to be selling for more. Uh, here's a good one. Obama has two hundred corporations that are going to fund his inauguration. All of the corporations do business with the United States government, mm -hmm. and some of which Obama is actually the chairman of. Mm -hmm. Oh, or was that off the record? Yeah. Yeah. And five men charged with murder in New Delhi gang rape. Yeah, you know they, they, uh, they, they're in big trouble because they said that uh, no matter how many checkpoints they went through, the uh, police department never stopped it from going on. Uh, but they said one of the police officers said that. Uh, She's getting exactly what she deserves, and I'm I'm sorry I don't have the time to get in. Oh. Yeah. Ye well, no, because uh, the uh, you do not wish to be a Muslim or Hindu woman because they have no rights whatsoever in these countries. And a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, uh, don't worry about the things you can't control. Only about those things you can. There you go.